Okay, we're back. Thank you very much, William Hamilton Morrow III, for doing promo and commercial. All right, we're back for the balance of our show. This is Progressive Discussions. <coughs> I'm James P. Madonna. I'm here with my co-host, the Reverend Dr. William J. Eisen. And it happens to be, what would you say, uh, the middle of uh, February? Uh, not exactly, because this year is leap year. What does that mean? We got only we have 29 days. That's correct. Or is it 28 days? 29. Is that what they call leap year? Leap year. All the women can go out for the men now. Oh, gee, wonderful. Oh. Gee, wonderful. Otherwise, the other the other days back. Back in the old days, the, uh, the, the the men had to do all the all the work and uh, go through all the trouble of asking them out, uh, uh, approaching them, and you had to ask their mother and father if you could have their hand. So you had to, you had to what you had to not only make the first move, which is putting you at risk yeah. for diminishing your ego if the girl says no. But uh, you had to get her approval and the family's, the mother and father's approval. So you were um, you were evaluated. Now, in ancient times, it was the groom's family who had all the power, from what I understand. Right? The other, uh, mo a lot, many cultures, the the bride's family had to pay a dowry. If you were a king, you could have, like Solomon, a thousand wives and concubines. Oh, wives and concubines. concubines. Yes. I think with, there were 700 wives with, with, and 300 concubines. And now, a concubine is, is like a fancy way of saying gumata, right? Uh -huh. Uh The other woman? Uh -huh, yeah. Oh, gumata is the uh, Italian word. The other woman is the other woman. No, they weren't a mistress. They were whores. Oh, they they lived with in the, the concubine. They lived there and they they were like uh, go, uh, gophers. Except gopher, he didn't gopher. have to pay them because he owned them. Oh, they're like slave girls. Yeah. Slave girls. That's what they were. Yeah. Mm. Slavery was once accepted. So not only did the the kings back then have multiple wives to yeah. bang, yeah. but he also could also in between the wives bang the, the sheep, the, the, the sheep. lambs. Bad. That was a bad habit. Bad habit. No, I mean the concubines. He he banged them too, right? Yes, because uh, like. Uh, 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 Jacob, he, uh, he fought Rachel, he uh, fought Rachel. Rachel's maid, uh, Rachel. yeah. and, and, and Leah, he was married to Leah and Rachel, and he fought most of their maids to have, uh, uh, you know, the twelve uh, uh, sons uh, to, to make up the tribes of Israel. Oh, that's where it came from. Benjamin was the only one who came from Rachel. Oh. Now, Jacob is the one where his name was changed to Israel, right? That's correct. Let there, and then, uh, then he, Jacob, when he blessed Joseph's sons, uh, Ephraim and Manasseh, said, Let my name be upon them. Now, was Jacob uh, uh, technically part of Judah or Benjamin? Jacob gave birth to them. Oh, the, he was... He's their daddy. He's the father he's of the, daddy of the, the 12, 12 tribes. He's the father of the 12 tribes. That's correct. All of them, collectively. All of them. From Rachel, Leah, what was their name? Hilpah and Zilpah. But they weren't, God wasn't pissed off at, at them at that time. Yes, right? he was. He oh, didn't yeah. like what they did with multiple wives. He did not like that. How do you know? Because he said so. You don't like it. Oh, he did? 
but hey, David uh, had uh, had uh, uh, Bathsheba's uh, husband killed. But since he repented, did God forgive him? And God forgave Jacob, the other misuses that the fathers have done. Okay? True repentance, my friend. Not this kind of repentance that the Republican, Republican uh, religious nuts go through. Well, the Republic, like Vitter and all the others. The right wing conservative evangelical zealots, when they pray, they look, they always look very constipated, and and they ha and their arms are always up in the air, like it's a, a Wi-Fi to God. In this case, it's probably a Wi-Fi to Satan. And they look constipated, like, you know, Ted Cruz makes that face with his squinty eyes and his, you know, he's got that snor um, that sneer with the mouth open, like he's taking a big shit. Well, he is full of shit, I mean. That is true. Anyway, back to the readings. Back to Mr. Christie. Our sentiments regarding Governor Christie's massive implosion in New Hampshire can most poignantly be described with the German word Schadenfreude. Does that mean ass kisser? Meaning a feeling of joy at another person's misfortune or failure. Oh, a sadist. It's almost like a, set, a form of sadism, right? Since we know that the pen is always mightier than the sword, the minute Christie began campaigning, we began writing. There were opinion pieces, letters to the editors, of various media outlets across this campaign trail, but most specifically, we targeted New Hampshire. Rather than just offering our negative sentiments about Christie, we provided details and recommended that everyone receiving our communications go to NorthJersey.com. I know of NorthJersey.com, the web website. Why um, news website? Website. Why? What about the Democrats in Trenton? How come they are always so quiet when it comes to Chris Christie? You know? Interesting. We also noted that the copious research of columnist Mike De Kelly to get to the truth of the telling it like it is sham, we are not suggesting that we had a hand in the destruction of Christie's presidential plans, but if even one person listened and shared with yet another person, then we were satisfied. And instead of sitting around and complaining, we took action. Governor Christie says that he leaves the race without an ounce of regret. I'm going to sneeze. Well, it's popular. Or shame. It might sometimes help you sneeze, but it ain't helping you right now. Unfortunately, the same cannot be said by the people of New Jersey, who have been shortchanged in the realm of dedicated leadership. In the most vivid example, of delusional hubris, Christie stated, I'm so proud of the campaign we ran. What else is he going to say? I'm ashamed. Really? In the final analysis, it was a failed and humiliating campaign. Well, yes, and it's a waste of money, and um, it kept him from doing his job. Because the only person who, uh, who uh, did both jobs is Bernie Sanders. 
Senator, he, he did the job as Senator of Vermont and as a candidate. Maybe Christie would have been worse if he stayed in New Jersey those 300 right. days or whatever. Yeah, he dropped out. Uh, you know? Carly, the very ugly Carly Fiorina dropped out. But what about the other two or whoever are still Rand left Paul at the little out. boys and girls table? Think that were with Carly for the last couple of debates. We haven't heard of from them. Though. Yeah, I didn't even go out. Well, Huckabee went out a long time ago. Huckabee went out, Santorum went out. They're gone. Yeah, they were part of the, they were sitting at the children's table. Yes. So to speak. <laughs> yeah, and uh, I believe yeah. at the last uh, Republican debate, there were two or three at the little boys and girls table with Carly. Did, did John Kasich uh, resolve? No, he got on the big board. No, but he, he, didn't, seven. he didn't quit yet, right? No. So it's it's Kasich. Oh, he came in second in New Hampshire. It's Kasich, Cruz, Trump, Rubio, and Rubio's still in it, and and everybody else is. Jebby. Jeb is still in it. Yes. He's not doing very well, from what I hear. But he's still in it. Hey, the man had a hundred four million dollars. What the hell do you want? To play with, yeah. You know. Yeah. Well, I like I like seeing uh, Trump uh, give Jeb the jabs. Jeb jabs. Jabbing Jeb, Jebby. That's what he's scared of. Oh yeah, yeah, I know he did. Christie's hypothetical personality, political tactics, and rhetoric prove to be his undoing. Undoing, undoing sausage. He and his staff of cronies have nothing to be proud of after months of depriving the people of New Jersey of effective, productive leadership. <laughs> effective and productive? Coming from Chris Christie? The astute wow. voters of New Hampshire were not fooled and demonstratively said, go home. Mr. Christie, I like the uh, the New Hampshire residents. I, I, I mean, they seem like they got a head on their shoulders, screwed on tight. You know, I mean, compared to Iowa, give me a break. As the sun sets daily over Trenton in the West, hopefully, so has the political career of Chris Christie. Ah, he'll get a job at Fox. They'll give him his own talk show. That sounds like an uh, idea, you know? They will. Anybody with a poisonality, and I, I emphasize the word poisonality, <laughs> will go on to other things. Believe me, you, you haven't heard the last of uh, old Krispy Kreme Christo, Crisco Christie. Crisco. Summing up, Governor Christie has finally decided to quit the race. Best news I've heard in a long time. Now, if he would only resign as governor, it would make my day. Listen, listen. You New Jerseyans or New Jerseyites, you turn you turn your back to a good candidate in hold on. Turn your back to a good candidate in Barbara Bono, okay? And you you reelected him, and you're still complaining. You know, made your bed, dug your hole, now you're lying. That that's all. That's all I have to say. The only thing Barbara Bono did wrong is she picked a female lieutenant governor. It looked too lesbianish to me. You can't win over the male vote that way. The male vote the male voters don't dig that. You know, double female uh, ticket. I like lesbians. Huh? I like lesbians. No, no, no. As far as political leaders go, you. It, it, no, I'm talking a, about looking look at that point. A double, a double female ticket is not good for getting the male vote. Double female ticket. It, it shows that you are. You're only going to fight for women's issues and you're not going to yeah. do right by the men. You know what I mean? You got to balance it. Got to balance it out.
United Arab Emirates. Very wealthy country. Forget the negative headlines pouring from the Middle East. The United Arab Emirates thinks it's time to focus on something brighter instead. Brighter? Was where, 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 where Saudi Arabia right next to you? Is uh, beheading people uh, by the dozens, left and right? For stupid reasons? Uh, the Prime Minister, Sikh Mohammed bin Rashad al Naktoram, Naktoum, Nocturnal Emissions, announced a new cabinet on Wednesday that included the country's first Minister of State for Happiness. Happiness? Hap penis? I'll, I'll announce a new cabinet in my kitchen. The job went to Ahud Al Rumi, a female. Oh, I thought you were going to say it's a short, a very short Arab guy like Mickey Rooney. His last name is Rooney? Rumi. Oh, Rumi. Rumi. Oh, then he's got to be fat. Maybe he's it's a girl, I oh, said. Oh, the goyle. It's a goyle. Oh, my God. Hey, it's a goyle, man. It's a female. She will focus on the future. I'm surprised it's a girl in a Muslim country. She will focus on youth, Happy. happiness, developing education, and combating climate change. This is a big uh, decision for a Muslim country. Appointing uh, a female in charge mm -hmm. of a, uh, what would this be, a governmental agency? Uh, yes. Yeah, this is a shock. I got yes. to salute the uh, United Arab Emirates for doing this. This is revolutionary. It's kind of like when the Catholic Church uh, got Pope Francis. Unfortunately, Pope Francis says the bishops are not obligated to... Um, to uh, announce uh, pedophile uh, activity amongst in the Catholic Church, you know, like sexual abuse. Mm -hmm. the, the, the Pope says they, they are the Catholic Church. Uh, in other words, they're not going to do anything about it. I heard a, ca a Catholic priest on Facebook the other day yeah. on a post said he didn't know that sex was wrong with him and a child. Nobody taught him that, I guess. He didn't know it was against the law? Yeah, yeah. He didn't that know was wrong. it was wrong? Mm -hmm. And this is an adult. An act war, you would say. You would hope. Hey, even a minor even a, even, a, even a person that's not an adult yet knows that it's fucked up yeah. to engage in pedophilia. Yeah. Copophilia? Hey. Pedophilia. Right, exactly. I didn't know it was wrong. That's like a Republican that gets caught doing something. I had no idea that my people... Uh, doing these things. Guys. I wash my hands with a conscious pilot. I have nothing to do with it. <clears throat> Similar to Ralph Cramden, Ooh, who arrogantly declared he would go straight to the $99,000 answer, but missed the first question in an old episode of The Honeymooners. It was a songwriting. Swanee, Miss Swanee, Swanee River. That was Ed Norton's, uh, the way he loosened up his fingers. His hands on the piano. Dun, dun, da, 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 dun, da, 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 da. But he never learned. <laughs> Governor Christie's that campaign that was. <laughs> similarly went down on Tuesday night. Da, 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 da. Throwing New Jersey residents under the bus. Did. 
since his re-election, I believe he no longer has the trust of state residents or his own party to accomplish anything for the rest of his term as governor. Didn't he throw all of the Hurricane Sandy New Jersey residents under the bus, that the people that did not own businesses? He only helped businesses? All I Jersey know is Shore. it's over three years later and there are people <clears throat> without money to rebuild. I bet New Yorkers that got hit by Sandy got help, got the money. Well, Democratic uh, governor. Perhaps he should move on to television as a commentator. What did I say before, right? At least those of us who are sick of him can change the channel. There you go. You know, you just find out when Chris Christie's show is on and what station, and you avoid it. And you never have to see or hear of him again. But there'll be articles about his show. Online, trust me. Trust me. The, uh, the so-called progressive uh, uh, web pages, they, they announce everything that any Republican says. And, and even people that are not relevant anymore, they announce. Even if Bristol Palin makes a statement, they, who cares if they're not relevant? If they're not relevant, who cares? Ugh. Trump and Sanders. Are these really my choices for president? I'm disgusted. Appalled. The, oh, this guy's and gonna, horrified. This guy's going to get my shillelagh right across his skull. <coughs> What's Not one of these people <laughs> is capable of fulfilling the office. This person is a moron, a, an imbecile, a lame brain, a knucklehead. They appear to me to be better qualified to run for dictator or despot. What? What? Sanders? Despot? Oh, well, I swear I'll pulverize. I will pul What's this guy's name? I will pulverize you with my shillelagh. This man's name is Robin Murray. Robert Murray? Robin. Robin Murray. Oh, Robin. R-O-B-B-E-N. Robin. You stupid ass. Well, I don't know if you're male or female, but you're a stupid moron. And you deserve to get pummeled with my shillelagh. They all have lowered the expectations and intelligence of the American public. But who... Who does this person uh, like? Uh, Hillary, the corporatist? By turning this campaign season into a playground, playground. spitting match, by embracing the bully mentality. Yeah, well, See, now here's a guy Sam or woman who believes that Sanders is a bully. Sam and you Sam say he's not attacking, he's not doing this, that, the he's other thing. Anything, uh, 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 um, but this man says he's a bully. He's not doing anything on the of offensive, and he's barely on the defensive. I mean, you know, he, he sticks to the policies, which is nice, but uh, yeah, he, he's light years away from being a bully. But it were, this person actually got space to write this article. Incredible. We reward people for bad behavior. I'll reward you. And make excuses for the lack of social graces and blame every poor decision on stress and sadly on mental illness. Which you have. We accept empty promises. We promote or allow the promotion of hyena stacks in music. You know what? The sad part the sad part is voters in America, a lot of them, I mean, I want to see everybody get out and vote. It's very important. But many of them are nothing but a waste of sperm. <laughs> At, you know, as far as society yes. goes. Really, they really They are. have no brains to vote. 
They're they not, vote against their own interests. They, they're not, they're this is America. They're incapable of any thought. Forget about deep thought. Any thought. Deep throat. Um, yeah, that's an old movie. Very relevant movie. In its time. And Icebreaker. Yeah. Debbie Does Dallas? No, Debbie Does Dallas is something that came out. Yeah. Um, Devil and Miss Jones was the follow-up. Yeah. The they, 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 uh, they wrote a song about that. Mrs. Jones, Mrs. Jones, Mrs. Jones, you got a thing going on. Do -do, do -do. Remember that song? Of course. In print and on social media. We accept apologies for crimes committed against all types of life, human, animal, and planetary, and deliver no consequences. How can we call it presidential when candidates make derogatory comments based on sex, need to be continually bleeped for flinging profanity-laced tirades at one another. Or just generally lie. Hey, if you lie, and you're on the take, and you're corrupt, you deserve to be cursed at. I do it. You know, look, respect has to be earned. Earn, you gotta earn it first. This or generally is lie this about is groups of people or situations in the name of politics. Not one of these individuals has admitted to, made amends for, being wrong at any time. It seems as if they have put stupid in the water and people can no longer form an educated opinion or thought and are joining in the melee. Anyway. To quote Alexander Solzhenitsyn, to do evil, a human being must first of all believe that what he's doing is good. Um, like a sociopath. You will get from the universe what you put into the universe. And if this is, is this the same article? Yes, I didn't end it yet. Well, I did not say Fini. Well, I would I like, I would like to put this individual into the universe. We need to stop. Look. Listen, and proceed with great caution on Election Day, oh, God. and every day, if we want to make America great again. Oh, yeah, keep on quoting Ronald Reagan. So this person... That's Trump. He wears it on his red hat. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. So this person that... Reagan was mourning in America. This person that wrote this feels really demonizes Bernie Sanders, and I haven't heard anything that was unfair right. or, or negative come out of Bernie right. Sanders' mouth. This gentleman, I assume, <clears throat> is trying to be center. He was trying to lay it on both sides. You know, it that, didn't that, work. that means he's, he, he, he that means he doesn't want to side with anybody, That's per correct. se. He, um, He's trying to say show his independence. Which means for, for him to be dissentered and to give some credit to Republicans that, uh, that uh, the whole nonsense of trickle-down economics uh, is true and it really works. Uh, <laughs> and that uh, uh, capitalism works and uh, is, is good, you know, and uh, it's, that's not true. It, only 10% experience upward mobility, whether they... Uh, yeah, they but be, those people that 
are upwardly mobile. They don't give a shit about the ninety percent behind. Now the the temp they like it. Now the ten percent upward upwardly mobile people since seventeen seventy six. Does that include the people that were born with a silver spoon in their mouth and? Uh, well, and, they're already upwardly mobile. And and whose parents already had an established uh, business? Probably not, because. As the Bible says, those people, those people who you give... Oh, they're already on top. I get it. I get it. Okay. Yeah. If they're, you give to the rich and everything, you only make them arrogant and, 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 and lazy. Yeah. Well, it's... it's but it, they blame the, blame the poor, yeah. poor for that. Yeah. So the, the, people, the people that were born with silver spoons in their mouth, they're already part of the top 20% of the population. Yeah. So they're, they're the haves. They're, they're the, they're, they don't have to be upwardly mobile because they're already up. Or George Bush, George W. Bush called them the have mores when and he spoke to them. You should call them the want mores. Well, they always do that. <laughs> they you know, always so, do so that. So to be upwardly mobile, you have to come from beneath. That's correct. To raise yourself. Horatio so, Alger. Okay, and you have to do it all on your own. Oh boy. Okay. Hold on. Out of compassion, I must let in the other cat. I didn't you're not hear no. No, I, I hear. I hear. Be careful now, the, the blow. Come on, blow. Let's go. We'll come in. Don't prance in. You're freaking sub zero temperatures out there. Oh, and again, the pirate flag, flag goes up. You know what? Why the hell does the fucking pirate flag get sucked out every time I open the door? Why? 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 If it wasn't for that, I wouldn't have to fix them. Anyway, continue. Florida authorities oh, have arrested a man accused of throwing a live alligator through a restaurant's drive through window. People are out of their minds today. Start raving mad. Investigators identified Joshua James, a Jupiter, Florida resident. I love Jupiter, Florida. I I, I, I drove through it. Actually, uh, hung out there once. Well, Mr. Uh, what the hell's his name? Burt Reynolds. Burt Reynolds is, uh, looked horrible last night in that photo. That's his hometown. Yes, it is. His father was the sheriff of uh, he has a, uh, Jupiter, Florida. He has a uh, theater there. Burr Reynolds? Burr Reynolds. Yeah, I know him and Lonnie Anderson were the uh, the, the mo most talked about couple back then. What about Sally Field? He, he was married to Sally Fields? Burt? He was with Sally Field in, by, 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 by in the bandit. Well, I mean, in real life, they... they they yeah, were they an were, item? You know, when they were hung around and everything, got a lot of uh, FaceTime in the newspapers and shit. Sally Fields is from Tarzana, California. Yeah. And it was named Tarzana because Edgar Rice Burroughs, I think he's the one that wrote Tarzana. That's great. Is from that, wait a minute, Tarzan. So Edgar Rice Burroughs Set, uh, decided to move to an area and call it Tarzana because he couldn't have named it Tarzana before the book. Because, That's correct. Because that would be, you know. That is correct. Yeah. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. So he must have, he must have went to the town, to the area, and changed it because he was the main man there, and then he changed the name. It had to be a changed name. I'm a main man. Yeah, anyway, I digress. Uh, as the man <laughs> who tossed the three and a half foot reptile uh, into little, a Wendy's. Little guy. In Royal Palm Beach last fall. That's, that's kind of an assault charge. He faces three charges. Aggravated assault with a deadly weapon Unlawful sale. Well, 
possession or transporting of an alligator and petty theft. Well, three feet, three and a half. Counting the tail, give him his half. Is not. Well, large. how else could he handle it and throw it if it was bigger? It was a 500 pound. Yeah, right. That's true. No, I mean, I, I'm trying. And did he have the mouth? Uh, I don't. I size. would not call a three and a half foot young gator a deadly weapon. I wouldn't say deadly. They could hurt you. They could oh, hurt thank you. you very much. Here I am at Wendy's doing my job, during a gay, and this mental defect out there throws an alligator in my window. Almost in your face. If you're if you're if you're if you're in charge of the drive through you're, yeah, you're right the there. Open, yeah. Uh, James, 24, was taken into custody on Monday and processed at the Palm Beach County Detention Center. That's right, it's in Palm Beach County, Jupiter. It's, it's north of uh, West Palm Beach. The driver... I, I mean Palm Beach, Palm Beach, I'm sorry. The driver, wearing a backward baseball hat... Oh boy, backwards, huh? Was he uh, a ghetto a ghetto boy? A ghetto, country. a ghetto? Country boy, country boy. Country? Country, country boy? Yeah. Country? That's what they do, they wear their hat backwards. No, they don't. Yes, they they do. wear their hat backwards in the... Uh, that's a ghetto thing. It's a country thing. No, it's not. Yes, they do. There's a song out even now. Hey, boy, with your hat torn back. I kind of like that. Kind of like that? Yeah, it's country. It's stupid. All right, go ahead. He arrived at the drive through window to receive a large drink. Just before 1.30 a.m. on October 11th. While the attendant has her back to the window and is at her register, the male driver reaches across the inside of his vehicle in the passenger area and throws an alligator from his vehicle into the drive through window. You sing that old song, see you later, alligator. Da, da. An officer responding to the incident captured the alligator in the restaurant's kitchen. That's where I would be if I was an alligator. See, the jaws weren't even taped. He taped the jaws, shut for safety, and released it into a nearby canal. Wait, wait. Well, was he untaped the, the, the mouth then. Wait a minute. When the guy threw the, the, the small gator through the window, were the jaws open? Yes. Or taped? That's what I just said. They're open. They, the they cop taped. taped it. The cop taped it. Yeah. I think they're supposed to hold that over for uh, evidence, aren't they? Until the court case. Yeah, you can't. <laughs> you don't throw it back in the cat. Well, we are talking about flora. Duh. I got news for you. I saw last night some posts. Too, I think. About manatees. Oh, uh, they're and how they're hanging together for warmth down in Florida. And they're in danger too. The poor things. Uh, they're cute, and they're very in, much in danger. Sea oh. cows, manatees. And there they are. They're cold. Well, give them since they're manatees. Give them some hot tea. James's parents described him as an outdoorsman and a harmless prankster. Harmless prankster? Harmless? That's the key word, right? It was just a stupid prank that he did no. that's now turning into this it's stupid, said his mother. Of course. He's a prankster. Oh, the mother is covering up for her sonny boy. I he, hate people like that. He oh, does my, stuff like this. My child could never be be that bad. They can never do wrong. Yeah. He does stuff like this because he thinks it's funny. Not an not a oh a, a gator with a, with an open mouth throwing it at people. 
the average American will die as many as two years sooner than if they lived in Western Europe or Japan. Well, if they keep on eating that toxic supermarket uh, American food industry poison, they will die earlier. And this can be attributed to three of the darker elements of life in the U.S. Gun violence, drug overdoses, and death on the road. Not a word about the, the dietary uh, supply in the United States. See? See? 100,000 people in the United States lose their lives every year as a result of these causes. For each of the categories, the death rate is far higher in America than in other wealthy countries. What about the death rate by, by illness? I'm sure there are a lot more sick people in the U.S. The disparity is evident in comparisons with each of the 12 developed countries that have comparable mortality data available. These include Austria, Denmark, Finland, Germany, Italy, Japan, the Netherlands, Norway, Portugal, Spain, Sweden, and the United Kingdom. The U.S. could narrow the gap, but as a country, we have chosen not to. By not investing the resources in injury prevention that would be needed. The Jur Jur Journal of the American Medical Association report which was written by researchers at the U.S. government's National Center for Health Statistics and Johns Hopkins Bloomberg School of Public Health. It was pointed out to policies that other countries use to reduce premature traffic deaths. In most European nations, the blood alcohol limit for driving is lower than in the U.S., which has a standard of 0 0.08%. Oh. Also, infrastructure changes such as roundabouts or dividers widely used outside the U.S. prevent head-on crashes and make collisions less lethal. When it comes to gun violence, political realities make bridging the chasm between Europe and the U.S. laws unlikely. However, some American firearms deaths could be avoided by encouraging safer gun storage. <sighs> gun ownership could stay the same in the country, but we could have gun deaths among our children go down. Uh, Even well, debate over this issue has been fraught. A bullet is a lot faster than 911. Research into better firearm safety has been hamstrung by a long time congressional ban on federal grants for such studies. It was pointed out that the National Institutes of Health did not find a single study on childhood gun injuries from 2005 to 2014. As with drunken driving and gun ownership, drug deaths too may be affected by looser United States practices in prescribing opiates, according to the Journal for the American Medical Association. The tallies drawn from the U.S. National Vital Statistics System and the World Health Organization's Morality Database 
count accidental and intentional deaths. They include, for example, gun suicide and intentional overdoses and drug-related deaths include the effects of illicit and legal drugs. Well, all I have to say about that is a final word on our show, unless you have one of those uh, funny ones. Uh, I do not have a funny one. Dear Abby, whatever. I don't have oh, Okay, don't worry about it then. I got to say about the gun. So last night I was watching you? this popular crime show, you? and uh, it was a very, very tragic and sad story. Uh, in, in Connecticut, this town in Connecticut, there's this uh, a very pretty, uh, academically very intelligent. She she, she has um, this this black girl. She had to skip grades. That's how good she was. She they, they, they put her ahead by a couple grades, and she actually uh, she completed her first year of college when. Uh, seniors complete high school. You know what I mean? She was very smart. Anyway, long story short, she met this man online. Uh, they Everything was fine for a while, but there was no background check on the individual. Online dating, okay. Uh, he ended up having a long uh, uh, rap sheet and uh, he ended up being a stalker. He didn't. He didn't. He didn't. Obviously, he didn't care about the restraining order. The the police in her town did not take her seriously and did nothing about this man stalking and uh, threatening her. Her his threats by email. The cop says were not threatening enough. Anyway. On Valentine's Day, the man broke into her apartment and when she came home, stabbed her to death. And uh, she had enough she had enough strength in her to call 911 and said, my ex-boyfriend just stabbed me to death. Uh, I'm bleeding to death. And then that's when she lost consciousness and they couldn't save her and she died. Now, uh, yes, there should be background checks. Uh, uh, people are on, on online dating, but what I'm trying to say is if the girl was packing heat, if she had a pistola in her purse or whatever, she may very well have been alive today and and uh, she may have saved the taxpayers a lot of money keeping this piece of garbage in prison. However, that's there it. is a caveat here. It's not beluga caveat the either. The two cops who were armed in the donut shop or whatever were executed while armed. Well, the people that executed the cops, I'm sure, got one their... One person. Uh, the one person, yeah. I'm sure, got his weapon through the black market. Well, I don't care about that. I don't <clears throat> care about your statement. Your statement she was... Saved saved her, she was armed. She would have saved her life. She would have had to go get her purse. She'd have had to go in the no, door or wherever she, no, the gun was. It was it, if it was in her purse. What is she from 007, where she has it in the stocking? You know what? You know what? Come on, man! You I'm could, trying to explain to the, you. No, there is Even no logical armed. explanation on your side. Even armed, you can be dead. Well, she she didn't have any weapon. The cops did. They're both dead with bullets right. in their head. Well, what happened was the girl's family won a lawsuit against the town uh, for the police not taking any action until it was too late, and they got they were awarded ten, oh. ten they were awarded ten million dollars. I think they should have got more. But that brought back the girl, didn't it? Unfortunately, it doesn't bring back the life. Yep. But yep, saving your your ass when you need to is valuable enough for me. That's it. Thank yeah, but you. You're not looking at the evidence. The evidence is she she could have saved their ass. The cops couldn't. How could she? 
Well, the guy, the guy probably came from behind the cops. They were sitting on the on the stool. We don't know that. All we know is, well, if they did, if he did that, why he shoots the one guy? What about the other one pulling out his gun and wasting him? I guess he was the fastest draw I in mean, the West. I mean, that's what they say. That's I guess, what they say I guess all the he time was the fastest draw. About these idiots who go into the school and kill the kids and everything. The, well, if we had one person listen, there with a gun, the guy, they could pull it out while he shoots one guy, guy and then they can shoot first him. First of all, Come on. when you're in, in the parking lot of a donut shop, they usually have a big window. You could see who's inside. The guy probably had his hand on his, on his weapon before he walked in the donut shop. He opens the door. Bang, 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 bang. How long does that take? How are the exactly. cops going to have time to turn around and... Exactly my point! They, it's like getting sucker punched. They got exactly they, my they point. got sucker shot. Just because they're armed does not mean they can return fire. All right. Let's say the girl ended up getting... Woo. Let's say the girl walks in and the guy, the ex-boyfriend, surprises her and ends up getting couple stabs in she she struggles gets her gun out and blows them away and, and that's it and dies alone he should be tortured to death actually I would I mean uh, but the guy I have no remorse for anybody who is trying to murder somebody you save your ass any way you can that's it thank you for joining us for progressive discussions we'll see you next time and hopefully, at the next debate, Sanders will, Sanders will come up. Well, no, that's the Republican debate. Tonight is just going to be simple entertainment and amusement for me. Because I think Trump is showing up this time. Oh, I would love to see her get, get vicious and foul with Megyn Kelly. Ooh. Yeah, Megyn Kelly was... Cutting him off last time, browbeating the, the guy. Boom, 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 boom. It's going to be very entertaining tonight. Very. I'm talking about Sanders when he faces the witch next time. You better, you better start, you know, using them gonads of testosterone, and not let her make you look like a fool.